Hello friends, today we will learn how to solve this type of problems by using a concept which is based on the pulley problem concept or pseudo force concept. It is very necessary to understand how to use the concept of pseudo force in a problem which are moving on a moving system. That means first we understand what is pseudo force. Actually pseudo force exists in a non-inner sea reference frame. That means a reference frame which are accelerated motion. This is called the non-inertia reference frame. In non-inertia reference frame, neurons laws of motion, first and seconds not exist. That's why we use this type of problems. This is the pseudo-force problems. And now we apply here the pseudo-force concept. This is the first problem. First problem is find out the force. Find out the force for which the mass is in is not moving in a wedge, on a wedge. That's why the first problem we solve. If we want to solve this problem, if we want to solve this problem, we first consider the, this is the angle theta here, and weight always downward direction, that is mg, and this is the component of mg because mg is vector quantity that's why it's resolving to pass this is theta that's why this angle is theta and it is mg cos theta because when we apply this problem this is mg and this is theta and here this angle part is pi by 2 minus theta this is the pi by 2 theta and this is pi by 2 minus theta and this is perpendicular on the plane that's why this angle is theta so this angle is theta here that is mg cos theta component and this is mg sin theta component now we apply and it is the normal reaction r now when we apply a force force which produces produces an acceleration a in, in this direction, then the body in this state exists a pseudo force that is M. And pseudo force, this pseudo force is divided into components in this direction and in this direction. This is theta, that's why this angle should be theta. And here, MA cos theta and in this direction that is mv prime theta this is the part now if body need to not move in this condition or not moving this body if mg sin theta equals to ma cos theta then the body not moving condition that means mg prime theta equals to ma cos theta that's why A equals to G tan theta. It is the acceleration of the particle. It is the acceleration of the particle. Actually, this is the acceleration of the particle by which, for which the body not moving in downward direction. Now, if we want to find out the force F applied on a body, then force F equals to Newton's second law of motion, that is M equals to M into a, that is the total mass of the system into acceleration. Now we are putting this value acceleration in the equation, we get the result. That is A equals to mm dash g tan theta. It is the actual value of force. If we apply this force, then body, that is mass small m on a wedge is not moving in a downward direction. So we apply this force. Now, we find out the R. What is the value of R? That means, what is the force applied on the wedge by using by using the mass m, small m. Small m mass, what is the value of force added to this wedge? This is R then equals to, in opposite direction, this force, that is mg sin theta due to the uh, pseudo force component and mg cos theta due to the 
weight of the body and this together is give the in a triangle now we mg cos theta and putting the value of a in a that is g tan theta sin theta and cos theta into sin theta here that is the tan theta and now mg that is cos square theta plus sin square theta by cos theta that means mg by cos theta is the normal reaction which is the normal reaction r for the body that is mg cos theta which is the a weight applied by the body m now this is the solve this is force this is the acceleration for which the m is not moving in the downward direction this is the force for which the body is not moving in the downward direction and there is the normal reaction of the mass m dash which is gives the on a wedge now we solve the second problem second problem is similar to this problem but addition of this mass extra mass here find out the mass m in this problem we find out the mass m for which this small m mass not moving in a downward direction that means if we apply this topical if we apply if we apply this pulley problem then first this mass m now we consider this is the total mass m and m dash m plus m dash it is the total mass of the system now it is similar to that and that's why when the system moves in this direction and this is also this direction this is the tension t always at to the fixed point fixed point and this is the mg force in the downward direction that's why system break from the fixed point is the two system now we apply this this is moving downward direction that's why this force is maximum and then the t this force is scalar force then the t mm, that's why this is the result of force this is mg minus t is produces the acceleration ma for the body now we apply it here here outer force is zero because no acceleration no moving body here that's why no force pseudo force here the other t minus 0 that means m plus m dash whole into t that is t equals to m plus m dash into g tan theta g tan theta now putting this value here that is mg minus m m dash g tan theta equals to m a means here m g tan theta now if we solve this problem that is same here m plus m dash by cos theta minus 1 this is actually m here if we apply this mass in this system then this smaller mass is not moving in the downward direction this is the easy problem for which we solve this problem it is also it is a ac bharma problem now we solve the third problem which is based on the lift problem now so the this third problem which is based on the lift problem here we find out the acceleration of the system and tension in the spring for which the body moves a zero acceleration with a zero acceleration in upward direction now here mass m2 is the greater mass than the mass m1 
how to solve this problem now that's why here this is mass m1 and this is mass m2 this is upward direction downward direction we take it a1 and it is also upward direction we take it a1 because this is downward direction and it is upward direction if not the spring is uh, string length is constant that's why the mass m2 if down goes downwards the mass m1 is goes upward now here we consider a pseudo force because the lead this pulley is present in the lead that's why which lift is moving with a acceleration is zero that's why we apply a pseudo force in zero due to the acceleration in zero on a different body if we apply it if we apply every day free body diagram for this body then this is t because string is one that's why tension is similar t and t now this is mass m1 g and pseudo force body moving with the acceleration is zero in upward direction that's why pseudo force is looking in the downward direction that is m1 is zero is the pseudo force now body move in upward direction with an acceleration a1 that's why this force is the data force then this force because the body moves in an upward direction that's why the resultant force is t minus m1 a0 plus m1 g all into mass into acceleration this is the mass m1 mass into acceleration a1 and for this system if we draw the free body diagram this is mass m2 g here and m2 a0 is the pseudo force now body moving with an moving downwards with an acceleration a1 now acceleration a1 that means this force is the data force then the lead that's why the equation is m2 g plus m2 a0 minus t equals to m2 a1 now we solve if we solve m2 g plus a0 equal minus t equals to m2 a1 and here t minus m1 a0 plus g equals to m1 a1 and that's why the a1 is a1 is m2 minus m1 by m2 plus m1 equal into g plus a0 is the acceleration of the system if we put in this value a1 in any equation then we get the value of t so we finally solve this problem third problem now we want to solve this problem that's why the first few years discuss this problem later and that's why the free body diagram is very necessary and one concept is very necessary that is the acceleration a0 in upward direction that's why produces a pseudo force in the downward direction for different masses pseudo forces are different that is for m1 masses pseudo force is m1 a0 and for m2 masses pseudo force is m2 a0 and one concept is also very necessary that for a pulley uh, problem that is the greater force minus the lower force is equal to resultant force produces the newton second law of motion that gives the mass into acceleration in the system now we solve the third problem third problem is this is the third problem we want to solve this problem is solved for the necessary things is one thing is necessary that is when we apply the force a then for what condition when I, what is the value of a for which the mass and m and m dash is not moving that is rest condition a rest condition as is for what masses what forces we apply on the body the body will also move the body total block masses m and this block mass m dash and this is m 
and we apply a force. For which force we apply? That's why M and M dash is fixed condition or rest condition, and also these are frictionless pull. These are the frictionless condition. That's why when we solve this problem. If we want to this to solve this problem, this pulley is tension is T and tension is T because similar tension because the strain is one that's why the tension is similar. Here, mg is the downward force, and here no force arises if the body is the rest condition. Now, if body we apply a force A, that means we apply a acceleration. A. Total body accelerate with an acceleration. That's why the pseudo force produces here on this block produces uh, or exist on this block. That means this is M dash A here the pseudo forces. Here only this block arises the pseudo force. Why? First thing is in a moving system the moving pulleys. Are the concept of pseudo force. Here, this pulley is moving, that's why here in this body we arise as pseudo force and in this body arise as pseudo force. But in this body moving in a downward direction, that's why this knot produces any pseudo force. Only this part is moving in this direction, the body moves this direction, that's why in this in this part apply the pseudo force concept. It will be raised when mg is equals to m dash. That means if this force and this force are equal, then body will not move in any consideration. That means mg equals to m dash a. That is the acceleration of the system is a equals to m dash by m whole into g. This is the acceleration of the system. Now we apply force on the system A. Force, when we apply force, the total mass is M dash M and this is the capital M. That is the total mass of the system. M, M dash plus M, total mass of the system and acceleration A. Now the force A is M, M dash M into M dash by M whole into G. This is the total force on the body. This is the total force on the body. And these four problems that we solve and by using the concept of pseudo force. And that's why we need the basic concept pseudo force is force in that is always acting on a body which are moving in a non-inertial reference frame. That means pseudo force arises in a non-inertial reference frame.